Okay guys, so today we are going to be adjusting the ride height of my 2020 Silverado. This procedure will actually be the same for any 2001 to 2020 Silverado. Um, we're going to be doing this using the torsion keys. This truck has leveling keys on it, um, but the process will be the same whether it's leveling keys or the stock torsion keys. But we're going to go over exactly what those do here in this video and how to adjust them. Um, safely. Don't need very many tools to complete this. You need a jack. Um, we're going to use an air jack. Um, and, and you don't need to, but we're going to use ramps to make it easier because I have it here. And you're going to need a wrench um, with a 21 millimeter, is what we use, um, to adjust the torsion bars. And tape measure. That's what you need. <laughs> we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna measure ground defender on both sides. Should be within a quarter inch of each other. Uh, I say quarter inch because depending on what, how your grounds is level or not um, will depend on it. So quarter of an inch is, is pretty fair. And uh, we're going to take measurements now. I'm going to turn the wheel a little bit and see how much room we have to go down. And then we'll start adjusting. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick measurement here. Some people do center cap to, to bottom of fender. I just do it from the ground. So... Um, it's kind of an eyeball here because my tires are so wide. So I'm sitting roughly 42-ish. Yeah, right about 42. Let's measure the other side real quick. And... No shit, I'm right about at 42. Um, I'm gonna turn the wheel. We're gonna see how much room I have to go down. So maybe as I'm turning the wheel, you can just videotape and see how close it gets. <clears throat> so, because your restrictions now when you look under here, which you can see on the 2020s will be your mud flap, which this one's removed. We trimmed a little here to gain more clearance, which you don't need to. I just did that because it rides better. And up front here, which you can see I actually modified this whole entire front liner um, to gain more clearance as well now i'm going to turn the wheel we'll look at this um see how much room i have i should have a little bit to go down a little bit more and uh and then we'll do make some adjustments so right now you can see me coming on top right now um, i think that's it yeah this is my clearance, my whole hand in between the um, liner and the fender here. So now I'm going to turn it uh, the other direction. We'll look and see the clearance up front. So my restriction now is going to be before it was hitting here. And you can see that um, I would have been maxed out already, right? The liner would have came down right here and hit the tire. So that's why I actually um, modified this. There's a bracket right here that I trimmed and I was able to fold this up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna come down a little bit farther. So look at this before you make any adjustments and make sure that you have room to go down. So now that we see the clearance, I'm gonna get this thing off the ground. We're gonna adjust the keys and, and, and remeasure. Okay, so now that we got this up, um, yeah, ideally get the tires off the ground because then you know all of the weights off. Um, we just max our jack with these ramps. So hindsight 2020, we shouldn't use the ramps. So what this does, it takes all of the weight off of your suspension, which you will need and you'll know if you didn't do it right because these keys will be super hard to turn. And it's really hard on the knuckles up front that turn the bar. So, and by the way, that oil leak back there, it's not mine, this is a dump truck shop, so I know a million people are gonna be like, huh, nice oil leak, bro. But no, sorry, not mine. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna crawl into the back here. We're gonna get the wrench on and we'll start turning it. Um, righty tighty, lefty loosey. If you wanna go up with your suspension, you tighten it. If you wanna go down with your suspension, you loosen it. So if you're doing over eight turns, definitely do an alignment if you want your tires to wear correctly which they're expensive, so you do. 
Um, if you're doing like five turns or less, I would run it. I'm not saying you have to. I would run it. But um, let's get under here and turn these real quick. I think we had at least a half inch. So we're gonna do, eh, let's start with four turns. We're gonna do four turns down and then we'll see where it's at. So. All right, so when you get under here, your keys, I don't know if you can see this or not. Right here at this cross member, you can see these bars, right? These are your torsion bars. This is where you're getting your adjustment. At the front there, there's a knuckle that's right next to your lower control arm. These, you follow these bars back to the end and boom, these are your keys, they're right here. They look different on the inter internet, right? On the interweb. But these bolts right here, on both sides, adjust your suspension. You wanna tighten them to lift your suspension and loosen them to drop your suspension. To do this, after you get this thing on here, this is already aligned, so I make sure, and you might have to adjust this a little bit before you do it, but I adjust this so that I am right in line or parallel with this cross member. This is like my reference point, right? Because you want to do the same amount of turns on each side to make sure your suspension is level. So I'm going to do this one turn at a time. So I'm loosening it. Boom. That's one. So I said I was going to do four. Here's two. Here's three, here's four. Notice how easy this is. If you have, um, if you have weight on your suspension, no matter if you're going up or down, it's super hard to do. Um, I'm gonna crawl under this so I don't get that oil. Okay. Same thing. Same thing. I'm going to do four turns. I'm right in line. Here's one, two, three, four. Now, I may have just done too much, but I don't know. We're gonna find out. So now all you do, these keys are almost backed all the way off. Which is a good thing, it's not a bad thing. Um, now, after you do this, we're gonna lower the truck. And once you lower it, you're not done. Cause it's gonna look about, if you measure it right after you do it, it's probably gonna sit the exact same. The suspension is not settled. You gotta roll forward and back. Usually I roll forward, hit the brakes real hard, roll back, hit the brakes real hard, roll back and forth a couple times. Let the suspension settle, um, put weight on it, and then you check it. If you check it right after, it's not gonna, it will probably be no different. So right now we're gonna drop this thing, roll back and forth, hit the brakes a couple times, get the tape measure out, and then we'll test if we have clearance. Just doing that shifts the weight, allows the suspension to settle. I'm gonna take a measurement. Hopefully we're not too low. Wow, we're way lower, dude. We're... Yeah, well, it was probably about a half inch. Um, maybe more. About a full inch. We were about 42 and now I'm at 41 quarter-ish. 41 and a quarter, so that was, that was four turns on each side. This one dropped down to um, three quarters of an inch with four turns. I can tell already just looking at the wheel gap that like looks tighter. Um, this one's the exact same. So 40, yeah, 41. I don't know if you can look at that or not when you're, it's kind of hard to judge like from here, but yeah, right just above 41-ish. Um, so they're both about the same. Now it's like, okay, cool. I got everything level, everything works. It looks sick. But now I gotta see if I left myself enough room to turn. So I might have to, when I, we'll look at this, see if I have enough room. And if I don't, then we might have to go like up two more turns. So I'll get it back on the ramp, jack it up, 
do two more turns, but we'll see. Let's see if it clears. So it's nice to have a second guy like Cole right here to tell you if you're gonna hit something. So do this with two people for this part because he can like, just by his face reactions, I can see if my front or back are gonna clear when I start turning. So do this real slow. Nice and slow. I'm about to hit full on full lock right now. Okay. You're good. All right, I'm gonna step out. Let's just take a look here and see what we got. This is full lock. Do I have clearance? Yeah, I do. I do. I have. Here, I can control this if you want. Um, I know it's hard to get like an angle, maybe right here, because the shadow. But yeah, I have. I can still fit my hand back here. I have clearance on the tire. Um, I mean, it's not a lot, but it's probably, um, I don't know, an inch. Like I said, if I didn't trim this right here, if you can move the light over or not. Yeah, if I didn't trim this right here, this wouldn't even be possible. So that's why I'm able to get lower and lower. So, um, that's going to clear just fine. Now I'm going to go over to the other side and make sure that I cleared this front bumper. I got, yeah, I'm not even close, right? I got a ton of room here. Maybe you wanna watch this side when I turn back. Just make sure, I'm gonna have him watch this and make sure that nothing major is gonna collide. You're good. So you can see as well, I have about an inch of clearance up front too. So that is like ideal. Now, um, I'm gonna go over, a, now if you're done and you're like sweet, that's how you adjust torsion bars. Um, I, there's nothing left adjusting wise that I'm gonna show. You need a 21 millimeter, jack the truck up, get the suspension off. You can turn the keys like butter. If you have weight on it, it's super hard and it's super hard on the knuckles. Um, a couple things to check now that I have got this done is you check your upper control arms, right? A lot of people have issues here. Um, let me see if I can. A lot of people have issues with this clearance, right? Um, there's plenty of clearance here, especially with these aftermarket arms. You come back and you look at your ball joints and these are sitting just fine. I mean, it's a little angled, um, but it's not like out of whack or anything like that. So especially cause I'm turned right now. So, um, it, it looks okay. If somebody was like, ah, oh, it looks a little off. You can actually, um, put the ball joint on top if you wanted to. Um, but I, that's not necessary here. So I'm going to turn this wheel back and then I want to look at the CV axles and the uh, tie rods. All right, so this is the other thing I wanna look at here is um, these are close to level now. I mean, that looks really good. I wish I would've showed you guys this before um, because they were not like this at all, were they cool? No. I mean, they were torqued a little bit, but this is like, per this is almost stock level. So this is straight, this is straight. Um, you want a little bit of gap on your bump stops, which I have actually a groove right down there I didn't see. So it actually, I have, I have room, I'm good. So it actually has a dimple in the lower control arm, which I actually haven't seen that in the other tr older trucks. Long story short, after you get this adjusted, check your clearance. After you're done checking your clearance, um, tire clearance, you check upper control arms, you check tie rods, you check up um, uh, CV axle, and then you check your bump stops. So I'm gonna stop rambling here. This is how you adjust everything. This is what you check for. I'm super happy, I'm excited to drive it because every single time you turn these keys, even once, your ride will improve every time. Yeah. So thanks for watching guys. 
Start to finish, this project should take you 20 minutes if it's your first time, maybe 30. If you've done it like two or three times, you can probably do this in 10 minutes as long as, long as you have all the tools out. Um, just make sure you have a second person with you to make sure that you have clearance on both sides. And this adjustment tactic will work on any three quarter ton or one ton, Silverado or Sierra, at least from 2001 on. I don't know about previous years, but I've, I've done it on all those trucks besides this. All the same tactic, all the same moves, easy to do, and uh, hope this helps. Thanks, guys.